Let's look what's over here. These graphics. This looks so nice. These characters are so cute. Look how cute it is. We can pet him. Aww. Wow, I look really hot in this light. Sorry, I got distracted. Well, this just took a hardcore turn, didn't it? How much do I beat him? Maybe you can't capture them while they're sleeping. Is he dead or is he just sleeping? I honestly, I didn't hit him, I promise. You can roll them around. <gasps> no way. This might hurt me. This might be a bad idea. <gasps> they're chasing me. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna we're gonna have to kill him. I'm so sorry. Hello everybody! The day is finally here. Pow World has released into early access, and I couldn't be more excited. Before we begin our first let's play of Pow World, I have two things I want to tell you. Number one, this is gonna be hard to believe, but I have not watched Pow World videos. I haven't even seen the Pow World trailer on purpose because I just want to be as surprised as possible about everything this game has to offer. Now I have seen some screenshots, I have done a bit of reading, and from what I can tell, Pow World has exploration, survival, base building, and creature collecting. The creatures called pals are just adorable. Now, I do know there are guns. There is some fighting in this game. So it's cute, but I don't think it's going to be overly cozy. And that brings me to number two, which is I am going to make this Let's Play series as cozy as possible. There are custom settings in Pal World. That I do know and we are going to see what they are today and we are going to put them as easy as possible. This is going to be more for the casual gamer. So if that's you, you are in the right place. Let's begin our Pow World journey together. I can't wait. First things first, we have to create a new world. So we are going to do that. And I'm going to try to play on a controller here. I got my Xbox controller, but I think we're going to need keyboard and mouse for parts of this. We'll call this Buckeye Bunny LP. This is gonna be my Let's Play world just for you and me to share together. I'm probably gonna mess around with some other worlds later, but we're gonna confirm that now. Here is a difficulty setting. We have casual. I think that's what we're gonna go with. Normal, hard, and then custom. Actually, we're gonna put it on casual, but then we're gonna make it even cozier. And it says down here, if you are new to survival games, which I'm not, but I do want to have a relaxing life with my pals, pals are going to be easier to catch. We're going to get more XP and gather resources and incubate eggs faster. Yeah, because you guys don't want to watch me cut down trees forever, right? <laughs> battles are easier. I don't want to do the battles anyhow. And no penalties when dying. Yep, sign me up for that. But let's see what else we can do. I have just spent entirely too long going through all of these settings and I don't really understand what all of these do yet, but I think that I have made some slight tweaks to make this a little bit easier. So you can take a look at what I've done and I'm probably going to be changing this, but we've just buffed our HP a little bit. We've reduced the time to incubate eggs. We've reduced how long it takes for items to respawn, like gatherable items that we're going to need. And we'll see how this works. Hopefully this will give us as cozy of a Pow World experience as we can get. So we're gonna hit okay. And I think we are ready. You cannot edit your character again after the game has started. A character re-edit feature is planned for a future update. Okay, that's no worries. I kind of like the pinkish hair. Ooh, no, she's really pretty. I think we're gonna go with orange and this is a crazy reason, but I'm thinking for screenshots, she's gonna show up better than the other ones in a green environment. I know, weird reason. Body, oh, here we go. Oh, oh, <laughs> okay, okay. That, that's a little too much. 
Oh, we're gonna make her a little bit thicker. That's a little too thick. We're just gonna plump her up a little bit here. I think she looks good. Now, onto her face. Oh, wow. We have a lot of options here. More than I was expecting. Oh, I like her. Those eyes, as much as I like them, they look a little big. Oh, we can have snake eyes? No. Cat eyes? We'll go with the big eyes. And then the eye color. I really like the eye color that she has. I think we're going to leave that. We might make her eyebrows a bit darker. What do we got here? Not a ton of options. What is with the hair sticking up there? I don't know. Um, I think I like the default hair the best. I modify the color just a bit, but I like our little ginger girl here. I have two redheaded boys at home, so I'm a little bit partial to the red hair. And now the voice, okay? Voice two. I think we have our character ready to go. I'm happy with her. I didn't make a whole lot of changes, but I think she looks good. Let's begin. Character creation complete. Are we ready to start the game? Yes. Yes, I am. Let's begin. Look how adorable they are. The towers are the key. The tree holds the truth. Towers and a tree. Is this like Avatar? Okay, we're in the tutorial now. We have to pick up fallen branches. Let's go ahead and take a look at our menu here. We have inventory. This is quite complex. We have places to put items on the body, head, shield, glider. There's a glider? This is going to be like Lego Fortnite, isn't it? Weapons, four weapon slots. Wow, accessories. And then we have our stats. I thought that was my weight. No, it's the max that I can carry. Work speed, defense. These are items we have to unlock. We have a workbench a stone axe, a stone pickaxe, a torch, and a club. So your basic survival items, right? And then pal deck. These are our creatures, and I'm guessing their stats. This is the Pokemon aspect, right? This reminds me of Moonstone Island. Oh, look at Chicopee. These characters are so cute. There's a cat. I love cats. And then we were supposed to look at our survival guide. Oh, we have like a tutorial in here. Controls. We're going to try to stick with the controller for now. Game objective. Uncover the secrets of this mysterious land while taking on the unknown forces that stand in your way. Defeat the bosses that lay claim to each region's tower as you try to uncover the truth behind the origin of the pals. Build formidable bases, try to capture the strongest pal possible, breed it yourself, and embark on unique adventures. Let's take a look around and see if we can find some wood. The windswept hills. I don't know where to go first. Let's look what's over here. These graphics. This looks so nice. I do have the graphics turned way up. My computer fans are going nuts over here, but it is worth it. Look at this. Okay, we just gotta take a minute and soak this all in. It's an interesting graphic style. You know, look how realistic it looks. Oh, we have wood. Talk. Oh, she's got a gun. Wait a minute. A castaway? Been a while since someone who didn't stink of pals washed up here. 
This island is a living hell. Oh, nice. The people I came with aren't with us any longer. The pals ate every one of them. Is this like Attack on Titan? Be careful out there. Take some basic supplies. You need to toughen up if you want to survive out there. <laughs> well, this just took a hardcore turn, didn't it? All right. Where do we want to put our base? Is there a map? Do we have a map anywhere? Let's just try pressing some buttons. I do not see a map. Oh, I see a chicken. Can I catch him? Is he friendly? I don't know what I'm doing. Open the build menu, select a primitive workbench and set the build location. There doesn't appear to be a map. I don't know where we should go. Let's just take a look out here and see if there might be a different spot we want to build. I don't know how easy it's going to be to move our base. Look at this. I also have to keep in mind that night is going to be coming. I don't want to be stuck out here without a place. I mean, should I make this my shelter? Look at this. Oh, wow. And what do we have here? Pick up. I found a note from another adventurer. I can check their journey from the options screen. I've decided to take photographs of the island using this device and use them along with this journal to document what I find. So we have a picture taking device. Oh, we have a treasure chest. I didn't see this before. Open up. Arrows and gold coins. It makes me kind of sad to find the arrows because I think we need them to hurt the pals. I don't want to hurt the pals. We have to build a workbench and open the technology screen. Well, that didn't hurt me. <gasps> what is that? What is that? I don't think it's friendly, is it? That's like Snuffleupagus. If you're old like I am, you know who that is. <gasps> okay, I don't think it's friendly. Mammal rest. Look how cute it is. It's probably not friendly though. Open the build menu, select the workbench and select the build location. Oh, here we go. We're going to build our workbench. I don't know where we should build it. How about right here? Is that a good spot? We just built it. Hold X to build it. All right. Now we can select our recipe. Let's see what we can build. A club? Oh gosh, that's for clubbing pals. A handheld torch to brighten the area around you. Well, let's go ahead and make the torch. Acquire. We have a torch. Let there be light. Wow, I look really hot in this light. Sorry, I got distracted. Now, can we make our wooden club? In case I need to smack anything over the head. Probably a good idea to have a weapon. There's something shiny over here. What is this? Oh, we got some berries too. I probably need to eat. What is this? It's a pal sphere. Press right button to throw a sphere and capture a pal. Weakened pals are easier to catch. What happened? I just threw it and nothing happened? Where'd it go? I think I just lost it. I have no idea what I just did, but I did it wrong, clearly. Let's just look at the tutorial. Open the technology screen from the menu and unlock the pal sphere. Okay, technology screen, pal sphere, right down here. I need, oh, pallium fragment. Captures pals when thrown. Maybe that's what I needed. 
And then a pal box stores your captured pals. So we need one more stone and then one fragment. I don't know where we get that. Attack pals to weaken them. So that is something we have to do. Okay. Am I supposed to club the chicken? What happens if I club the chicken? Am I supposed to do this? I think I killed it. Was I supposed to kill the chicken? I feel so bad about that. I think he's dead. I have no idea what I just did, but I don't think it's good. No, look at his little lifeless body. I can kick it around like a soccer ball. Oh, that makes me so sad. Why did I do that? Oh, there's another one. Oh, he's mad now. Oh, I think I upset the chicken people. This is not good. I don't know what I'm doing, clearly. Chickpea poultry. Wait. I just got chicken meat and eggs. So what happens to their little bodies? Well, I just killed my friends. I'm a little bit sad about it, but I have to keep working on the tutorial. I think I need some sort of special blue mineral and I see something sparkling and blue down here. So let's go and see if this might be it. Hmm, this doesn't seem to be working very well. Let's go back to our workbench we can climb up here and see if we can find some sort of a pickaxe. We need one more stone and then we can make a stone pickaxe. That's what we need. That is too big. We need to find some small stones. The chicken bodies are still over here. Do we know what this thing is right here? Unlock fast travel. Oh wow. A map. Look at this. We can fast travel to all these places. I love it. There's so much to do here. But I really don't know what I'm doing. I just need to find some stones. And we have some chickens down here. They probably are not happy with me. Oh, wait a minute. No, that's not a stone I can get. Where are all of the stones? <gasps> Look at these guys are sleeping. I don't want to beat them. We're just going to let them sleep and see if we can find any resources. We got some wood. Oh, that's another stone. We can get this one. Oh, this guy's sleeping. I think he's friendly. I'm not going to beat him with a club like I did the chickens. <laughs> Look at his little trunk. <gasps> I just want to pet him. I don't think I should. Something tells me I shouldn't pet him yet. And now I think we can go and break those blue rocks down there. Oh. Oh no. Well, that's not good. If I put my fire away, look what happens. So I can see the merits of making the night faster? Here's the question. Can we switch to our pickaxe and get this before we get too cold? We're gonna try it. Oh, we're getting fragments. Look at this. We have quite a few of them. All right, we're cold. We're gonna switch back to this. Now I think we can go back up. I just want to explore. Oh, there's a treasure chest down there. Let's go get it. Another stone. We need that. I think we just leveled up. More stone. What is this? We got gold coins, three pal spheres, and a small pal soul. Castaway's Journal, Day 2. Where did I find that? That was in the options, right? Memo? Here it is. 
Our new note says, As I explored around on foot, I found a sphere that emits a peculiar blue light. I threw it without much thought. That's what happened to me. And the creature it landed near transformed into what seemed to be light, as though the sphere had absorbed it. When I tried throwing the same sphere again, the creature reappeared from the light and stared at me with what seemed like an amicable expression. So it made them friendly. As I began to create a shelter to protect me from the elements, the creature astonishingly began to help me. How useful! Wanting to deepen my connection with this living thing, I decided to name its kind Pals. To match, I christened this land Palpagus Island. All right, so from what this note says, the sphere that I threw and wasted, you throw it at a pal, it captures the pal, and then you can release the pal, and it has been tamed. If I'm understanding that correctly, that's what it means. And that is very important to our journey here. Let's go ahead and switch back to our pickaxe and get some more fragments, and then we're gonna go and craft. Oh, you can climb like in Palea. Oh. Nice. The graphics do remind me a bit of Palea. I know people always like to compare games to other games, right? You like to compare it to what you know. So, so far this looks a little bit like Palea, but I think it's going to act more like Fortnite, Lego Fortnite and Moonstone Island. Arc, some people have said. I'm supposed to make a pal sphere, right? Are you sure you want to unlock the pal sphere? Yeah, actually, I'm not sure, but we're going to do it anyhow. Let's go ahead and make two. And then we hold down X to craft it. Open the technology screen from the menu and unlock the pal box. All right. Yep. We unlock the PAL box. What else do we have to unlock? A campfire. I don't have enough wood to unlock that. We have a storage chest, repair bench, wooden structures. Look at all these items we're going to be able to have. There's a bow, a feed box, clothing, and it keeps going. Look at all the technology. Let's craft our axe and then we can get some more wood. Oh, this is so much easier. Look at all that wood. All right. We can build a pal box now, I believe. Oh, wait a minute. We have a new build menu up here. The pal box. What if we built our base over here instead? Oh, gosh. I don't know if these guys are mean or not. Is he gonna let me run by? Oh, look how he runs. He's so cute. This guy does not look happy. Can I just run by you? Thank you. How about you? <laughs> I'm a little scared. I just wanna pass by you. Is he following me? No. So maybe the pals are neutral to you, at least these guys, unless you attack them. Look at this view. at the water down there. Oh, can I build my base down there by the water? Yes, we got to build it down there. You all know I have a thing for water. The beach, I love it. And this might not be the best decision. I don't know how hard it's going to be to climb back up here. Can we jump on the water? Let's try it. This might hurt me. This might be a bad idea. Okay. That did hurt me. <laughs> that might not have been the best idea. But you can swim. Look at this. I am regenerating my health. Thanks to the cozy settings. This is such a pretty area. We have to build here. Build menu. We have our pal box. Let's put it right here. Okay. Here we go. We did it. Oh, we have to finish building it. Our first pal box. 
This might have been a bad idea, but we're going to build another workbench because I don't want to have to run back up the hill. Okay, done. Access the POW box. Summon a POW to your base. Okay. You can fast travel through here. Nice. Okay, POW box. Access the POW box. I did. Didn't I? Summon a POW to your base. Oh, look at this. So you have stat points that you can spend. Do I want to increase my stamina, my attack, or my HP? Well, let's go ahead and increase our HP a bit and our attack. Our stamina is already buffed a bit by our settings. Work speed or our weight. Let's add some weight. <laughs> Normally, I mean, a woman doesn't want to add weight, right? Most cases, no. But in this case, we want to carry more weight. And I think we can change these later. So we're going to go ahead and go with that. Now we have to attack pals. Throw a pal sphere to capture them. How much do I beat him? Oh. Okay, now can I throw this on him? Why didn't it work? Do I have to be closer? Maybe I killed him. Maybe that was the problem. Wait, this chicken's beating up the lamb. <gasps> I just wasted all those, didn't I? Okay, we're gonna try this again. Beat him up a bit. <laughs> we did it. I just had crappy aim the first time. We got our steam achievement. I caught my first pal. I had to beat him up a little bit first, but sometimes you gotta do that in life, right? We got a fragment. No. How about this mean chicken over here? Can we catch him? Apparently I killed him. Oh no. Look at my poor sheep. He's dead. I didn't have to do that to him. And the chicken too? Okay, we're gonna try this again. We're just gonna beat him up a little bit. Give him a one whack. One whack and then you throw him. Oh, now he's mad. He's a little bit mad. It didn't work. I don't have any more sp Oh no! Okay, they're mad now. <laughs> oh gosh, they are chasing me. They're chasing me. They're chasing me. <laughs> uh oh. I think you can tell by the music. I don't remember where my base is. Where's my base? Okay, we're gonna we're gonna have to kill him. I'm so sorry. I'm a chicken murderer. And I don't feel good about it. What's worse, I think, is that their little bodies just chill here. Look, we got a little chicken butt. They're really cute though. However, what is this shiny rock we have up here? Oh, this is something different. This is ore. Different resource, this is brand new. I don't remember where my base is. We're gonna grab that one. The chickens are still lying here. Oh, I feel bad about this. Oh, there is a map. It is the start button the left button in the center of the controller, not the menu button. All right. I somehow have a lamb in my inventory. We got to figure that out, but I think more importantly, we need to build a campfire. Can we unlock that? Yes, we need to unlock that because night is coming. Now we can stay nice and warm without our torch, hopefully. And we can now cook food we can fry the eggs from the chickens we killed. Yeah, let's do it. Wow, this is nifty. Now, if we go into our inventory, we can eat the egg. I don't think I really need to, but we ate it anyhow. Now, let's see if we can summon a pal. Access the POW box and summon a POW to your base. 
since we caught the lamb in our pal sphere, I think this is what we do. Do I put him down here? Oh, now he's going to help me. Huh. I can pick him up. We can pet him. Aww. Is it really dorky that that brings tears to my eyes? It's so sweet. Except for these guys. These guys do not look happy. Wait a minute. Okay. Why am I crouching? Do you think we can catch one of these guys? We have six pal spheres. Do we dare try it? We're gonna try it. Oh no! Oh no. This was not a good idea. This was not a good idea! Oh, this guy's fighting for me. Oh, I think we got one. So you attack one and they all come against you? We got two? <laughs> I clearly started something that I shouldn't have. All right. I think we made it. The music has calmed down. Let's go back to the fire. Thankfully, hang on one second. I hear, I hear feet. I think it's just land ball. Okay. Now, as I was saying, thankfully, because I have this on cozy mode, look at how quickly my HP is regenerating down there. Those birds, owls, I think they were, they were kind of strong. And all I have is my club right now. And my aim is really terrible with the pal spheres. Um, anyhow, there's something glowing over here. I see something shiny. Let's run around this way. And you know what else reminds me of Palea? The blue glowing rocks. There are purple glowing rocks in Palea. And you have to harvest that. Do we pick it up? So right now I had to beat the crap out of that little owl to capture him. Does that mean if I use that lift monk effigy, that might make them easier to capture? I'm hoping. Yes, I know we're cold, but let's go ahead and collect some pallium fragments so we can make more spheres. Do you all see the chicken swimming down there? didn't even have to beat him up. <laughs> we just got our chicken. Well, that was easy. I wish they were all that easy. Actually, no, I don't. Do you think I can capture the cat in the same way? Without beating him up? Okay, no, you can't. But, let's try this. Maybe you can't capture them while they're sleeping. Is he dead or is he just sleeping? I honestly, I didn't hit him. I promise. You can roll them around. No way. The physics in that are just adorable. He's not dead, right? He's just sleeping. Right? I don't know. I didn't even realize I've been playing this for an hour already. We have not finished the tutorial, but I don't think I'm going to be finishing it today in this episode because we still have to capture four more lamb balls, 30 pals total, and I've only caught four, and we have to build up our base until it reaches level seven and it's only on level one. So we are going to stop our first episode here and just real quick, let me give you my first impressions of Pow World. The Pals are adorable. I don't like the fact that uh, I have to fight them, but it gives me a fun challenge. I feel really badly when I kick the crap out of them. And I have to say the dead bodies, the carcasses, they're disturbing, yet they're incredibly adorable. And I'm really enjoying this on cozy mode. I think 
Otherwise, I will be very overwhelmed by having to eat and worry about cold and HP regeneration and tough battles. This guy's just chilling and sleeping. So cozy mode for me is the way to go. And I am 100% excited about continuing this adventure. If you would like to see more POW World on Cozy Mode, please consider subscribing. And if you want to be extra nice, drop a comment or a like down below. And I thank you so much for watching. And I will see you next time because I am going to keep playing this. In fact, I'm going to go start a new world after this video and get better at this. So on the next Let's Play, I will be a little bit faster.